Hey everyone, my name is Adam, and I need your help with an experiment today. If you'd like to try along at home, you'll need a paper clip and a bowl filled with some water. Now, what do you think is going to happen when we drop the paper clip into the water? Make your guesses now. Dropping in three, two, one. Okay, so the paper clip sinks to the bottom of the water. Now, instead of dropping the paperclip, let's gently place it on the surface of the water. Do you think something different will happen? Make your guesses now. Okay, placing paperclip in three, two, one. Whoa, it's floating on the surface of the water, isn't it? When something is floating, it is lighter or less dense than water. But if it is heavier or more dense than water, the object will sink to the bottom, just like our paperclip. But the top of the water has this amazing property called surface tension, where the itty bitty water molecules really like sticking together. And if you gently touch something to it just right, the surface tension bends the water like a trampoline and can actually support things on top of it, just like our paperclip. This is how amazing insects like this water strider are able to walk on water. Notice how its legs are making bends in the water? It's just like our paperclip. You can make your own water strider at home too. All you'll need is some thin metal wire, which you can buy at a hardware store. Or, with some supervision, you can get it from an old charging cable. Bending the wires into six legs, you can place your water strider on the surface of the water and... Voila! The surface tension helps it sit on the water without falling in. You can even see the shadows of the dimples where the water strider's legs are bending the surface of the water. Did you make your own water strider? Did you find any other objects that can sit on the water using surface tension? Let me know down in the comments. Happy sciencing!